Two GIS. It's a, a pretty easy program. It's open source, so it's free. Everyone can use it if they want. Uh, I used to do map of the uh, blouse, which was a Dutch family uh, uh, in the in the 16th and 17th uh, century. Uh, Father Willem and son John, and they uh, made uh, maps. They were really famous for it. Also got really rich on it, um, and um, those maps. Uh, if they were from uh, for maps of Holland or maps of cities or maps of Europe, they were pretty accurate. But bigger maps usually weren't too good. So, um, but uh, yeah, they got really rich on it. Um, I have an example: their map of Europe. This is the map in Cugis. I use OpenStreetMap, but any map will do. Any modern map, and. Uh, what it will basically do, it's as you can see, the map is kind of deformed mainly because of Iceland. They weren't really experienced with Iceland, so yeah, Iceland and Greenland aren't positioned right. That's why it's so deformed. Um, well, oh, uh, ground control points, that's how you do it. Uh, you see these little points here? Where's the Oh, like, uh, like for example, if they uh, draw a square on the map and in real life it looks like this, you put one point here uh, in the old map, uh, then you say, well, I put it here on the new map because that's where it is. Then, and also this way, yeah, these four I as well. Uh, and for example, there's an A standing in the square. The A will get deformed to fit how it look, how it actually is on the modern map. Uh, points you can easily use are cities, though this map was kind of blurred, so city names weren't clear. So you used a lot of capes, like uh, uh, like this cape here on Iceland, and you can see. It's here on the modern map, so that way it uh, works. Also an example, Cairo in Egypt, as you can see where it, it all goes. And it will, the computer will automatically deform it once you've put it there. Um, well, how to make it? Um, you open GeoReferencer. So the, uh, you first click that one, then that one, then that one. It's kinda, kinda, yeah, easy. Then you put in a map uh, with this, uh, uh, with this button. Then you say make at least three ground control points, otherwise it won't do anything. You click that button, then you first click uh, on the modern map, then you say uh, from map canvas or and then you click where it is on the real map, like I uh, explained here. And then you say start re-referencing. Um, that uh, button over there, it's, uh, then it will ask for uh, settings. Uh, most settings here aren't that important. There's just a couple of things here. Where will it be stored? It's uh, always important because otherwise if the program closes for some reason, like no electricity in the computer, you've lost everything you did. Uh, this, this is the resolution. It's in meters. I used for Europe, I used a thousand, so every kilometer. That means every little square is a kilometer. Um, but if you use it for a city, you do one, so Every little square is one meter, because otherwise it gets really blurry if you say a kilometer on a city. And uh, you need to press the, these two. Zero for transparency, so uh, it won't get a black square, uh, square behind it. And uh, loading QGIS, because uh, uh, then it will 
easily uh, be seen on your map in QGIS. Uh, well, repeat 3 and 4 until the map looks uh, good. And uh, then you're done. Then the map is good. That's what I did uh, with that map of Europe. Uh, this is the data itself. I don't really get it myself, but what I know, if it works alright, these three bars, everything uh, in it should be 0 0.00. It's uh, how uh, uh, it's uh, how the points are away from each other. So if the computer did it all right, they aren't are away from each other. So it's 0 0.00. A city example. Cities are a bit harder uh, sometimes, but uh, like Amsterdam uh, here, as you can oh, as you can see, uh, some things uh, stayed the same, but some things didn't. The uh, usually you can see back canals in old streets in the modern street pattern, but sometimes you can't, and then it's really hard. City walls are usually streets or uh, waterways uh, these days and uh, the ground control points as you can see they didn't put the north here but here so you so it's all upside down it's really hard but uh, once it works a little as you can see this little tower is now there and this tower is now there it's, uh, it works after a while. Uh, well, yeah, that's the entire presentation. Uh, if I do an assignment, to say, uh, uh, well, this map, uh, uh, well, this map, I cut out the old world and you georeference it. Uh, does anyone see any points they think they might use? Uh, Capes or something are really good at this one. Uh, any points uh, here on this map? Uh, like I say, that point I can see back on the modern map. Or anyone? Maybe some of the small islands in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's always works. Those islands, yeah. You don't need to be very accurate because the accuracy is a few kilometers per little square, so yeah. And that's the size of the entire island, that little square. Leveling is sometimes hard to read. What? Leveling is sometimes hard to read. Yeah. Ah, okay, levels. Yeah. <coughs> right, this uh, concludes the. Very